everybody. Diamonds by Tita here. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. Um, I'm going to be doing a whip and chat on my Diamond Art Club. I'm working on my Diamond Art Club uh, Sunset at Hasita Head. Uh, this is by Sandra Bergeron. So, of course, it's licensed art from Diamond Art Club. And it's a big one. Let me tell you, it's 89 centimeters by 70 centimeters. Or if you need that in inches, it's 35 inches by 27.6 inches. And um, you can see part of it that I've done here. Um, I am going to stick a picture up so you can see the rest of it. I've been working really hard to get it, um, you know, to get some stuff done. Oops, I got a couple loose drills. I also have this little section here, and this is where I'm going to be working at in just a little bit. Um, but I thought I would get you caught up to speed with a little bit of stuff that I am doing. Um, I've got my computer over here off to the side. Uh, where do I, where do I want to start? Well, okay. So, you know, you know, I always tell you guys do one thing today that your future self is going to thank you for, right? And for a long time, I wasn't taking my ad own advice. I mean, sometimes I did, you know, I would do the one thing, but um, sometimes not so much. So I've really, really, really been working for the last, um, probably in all honesty, you know, the last couple months, um, working on being healthier, uh, working on eating better, working on, um, you know, not eating fast foods, or at least not as much, um, working on cooking more whole, real food, um, you know, just working on that, working on exercising more. Um, and I found, um, I found what is called um, a virtual challenge. And there's a web cut site that's called The Conquer. And this is a virtual challenge of it could be walking or running or biking or swimming or just your daily steps, whatever you happen to be doing. Um, and the, vir the virtual challenge is you can do your exercise, your walks, your biking or, you know, whatever uh, in different parts of the world. Um, like you can do a a uh, 34 mile, 34 miles in Rome. There's a 33 miles in Paris. Um, there's Easter Island, Yosemite, Tokyo, Singapore, um, the Giza pyramids, uh, Route 66 in the U.S., um, Niagara Falls. There's just there is so much to do, and um. It, it helps you get motivated to get moving. And to be honest, um, I need a lot of motivation to get my butt out of this chair from diamond painting or from watching TV or, you know, just getting moving. You know, because my doctor says I need to move. I need to, I need to walk. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do. So what I did, I joined this virtual conquer challenge. And the one that I did was Paris. I did this 33 miles throughout Paris. And as you're going, doing, you know, I, I either walked or I rode my indoor bicycle. I did not count my just day-to-day -day steps. It was strictly um, that exercise. It was an outdoor walk. Uh, or it was my bike. So anyway, it was 33 miles. And as you're walking through the city, you know, they, uh, you can actually see you know, when you go on the website, you can see where you're at. You can see a street view. Now, it's not like you're walking or biking and actually seeing everything, you know, right there as you're going. But when you get to a certain stop, they tell you, they send you like this postcard and they tell you all about that particular place where you're at in the city so you can learn about it. 
But what's really cool, so this is a squirrel thought, I'm digressing just a little bit, and I promise I will be painting too in a minute, but I can't seem to talk and do this at the same time. But there is a point that I'm getting to. So there's a couple um, challenges that are not, um, they're fictional. Okay, so for example, there's a Harry Potter one. There's Star Wars. There's Star Trek. Yep, there's Star Trek, and I'm going to be doing that one coming up too. Um, but anyway, I did Paris, and I'm, I guess I think I'd mentioned this before to you guys. I've never thought in terms of miles. I mean, I've done steps. You know, I've had a goal of like 5,000 steps or 10,000 steps or whatever step goal, you know, that my Apple Watch was wanting me to have because, you know, it always tells you what to do, it tells you the steps you need. It tells you when to breathe. It tells you you need to stand up. You know, it tells you everything, right? So anyway, 33 miles to me, that that was huge. It was incredible. And I'm sure for people that run all the time or they're exercising all the time, that might not seem like a lot. But for me, it's a lot. Now, the really cool thing, and I hope this doesn't sound like I'm bragging or I don't know. I, I normally don't talk a lot about myself or anything like that, but I'm really proud of this to have biked and walked 33 miles. But they send you a medal when you complete it, which I think is really cool. And I got it in the mail. Now, I haven't opened it. I haven't seen it, but this is how it came. And this is it. Um, this is the Conquer. This is the virtual challenge. Virtually anything is possible. Um, the Conquer dot, ev dot events. So I'm going to show it to you. And then I'll tell you the next one that I'm doing. And it's not, it's not Star Trek. Next one. So I, again, I have not seen this. How do I, oh, oh I open it this way. So then it tells you, you know, what's your next one going to be? And it's, oh, check that out. Paris. How do I get this out of here? Hang on. Hold on. It is, it is a, a, a real metal. Let's see if I can get this out. There we go. Oh, it has some little sticky stuff on it. So here it is. That is so cool. There it is. Paris, the virtual challenge, 33 miles, or it was 53 kilometers. So I'm gonna hang this up. There's some really cool, or the Conqueror has a Facebook group um, and some of these people are so motivational. Let me tell you, um, they really give, oh, check out the back. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And this is heavy. This is really heavy. That's really cool. I like it. All right. So that takes care of that. Um, and I will tell you what I am up to next. Um, I am doing, hold on, let me get to it. Um, hang on one second, because there's so many of them. It was a hard time to choose. I, I really wanted to do, um, you know, Route 66, but it's 2,280 miles. And I know that I am not anywhere near doing something like that. Um, but I think that would be really, really, really cool. Um, I also, you know, was thinking of doing like the Rocky Mountains or in Wales. Um, but the one that I'm doing is uh, the Fjords of Norway. Now, this is 100 miles. Um, so it's a lot longer. And I'm just now starting it. So I don't have any miles yet really to speak of. Um, but I will be working on that. 
So I think I've talked way too long on that. So let me go ahead and at least um, begin to diamond paint and uh, so we can do a little bit there. And I'm gonna bring you in, and I gotta bring you in this way. There we go, because everybody seems to like it being in closer. So that is what I am going to try to do anyway. And um, I was working on the letter K, which is green. I've got a few more Ks up here I can do. So now I can tell you about other stuff that is going on. Um, I did not go thrifting with my sister today. I had some things that came up. I had a delivery today um, that I had to be home for. So we're gonna do a little bit of thrifting um, probably tomorrow when we have the 75% off sales going on at Goodwill. So I don't have anything really there to talk about yet. We will have stuff to talk about maybe tomorrow or Monday about it. <coughs> Excuse me. But remember I was telling you guys about the dental floss, which is like crazy cuckoo. And my sister did find that cinnamon flavored. Hang on a second. I got to get to my computer here. Hold on one second. Um, the cinnamon flavored dental floss. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get in here so I can tell you what it is. I want to be right because I can't remember. Hang on one second here. <clears throat> Okay, I just needed to go into her store on what is sold so I can tell you. All right, here we go. Now I can tell you the right thing. So you know the itty bitty dental flosses. In fact, hold on, hold that thought. Hold that thought one second. Squirrel thought, here I go. Because I can talk to you about this. Hang on one second, let me sit back down. Um, here it is. So this is a really small sample. It's only five yards. This is the kind you get from your dentist. In fact, I got this from my hygienist on Monday. So um, it's just little, just dental floss. That's all it is. But they don't make it anymore, remember? So these little ones, sell for about $10 a piece. Well, my sister found four of them. Remember, it was a week or so ago? She found four of them at Salvation Army. And she bought them for, God, what was it? 50 cents or a dollar? I can't remember. Um, I think they were pretty cheap. 50 cents a piece? I don't know, something like that. Anyway, she sold it for $39.99, $40. And I'm gonna show you up here somewhere. I'll show you a picture showing that that really did sell. Blows my mind. I cannot believe that that sells for that kind of money. I, I don't understand why someone would would pay for that. I Anyway, I guess somebody really, 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 really uh, likes it. So anyway, I went to the dentist on Monday. Um, I needed to have my checkup and I needed to have my teeth cleaned and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I was telling the hygienist, I told the hygienist and I told the dentist, I said, look at this, look at what this is selling for. Isn't this crazy? And I told them about the soap that was selling for outrageous amounts of money too. And um, my hygienist said, I think I have one of those. So she went in her little drawer that has all the floss and the toothbrushes, you know, the stuff that they always give you after your visit. And um, she had one. And I said, can I have that one? She goes, sure. 
And I said, I will give that to Bev. So I'm giving that to my sister and she can turn around and, um, and sell that. So, um, so that's it with the dental floss update. Um, now my update with the dentist, I didn't tell you that it was all good. I, um, I didn't have any cavities. Um, thank goodness. Um, or needing any dental work. Uh, next time I have to go in and I'm going to have, they said one of those x-rays where I forget what it's called, but it's like a full like head x-ray where they do like your whole entire mouth. Um, so I have to have that next time. But yeah, he said I'm doing really good um, to keep up with using my electric toothbrush. I use one of those Oral-B electric toothbrushes. And I tell you, since I have been using it, um, I am doing a whole lot better um, with like the gingivitis and the plaque and, you know, all the stuff that, you know, the buildup that you get on your teeth. Hope that's not too much TMI. Um, so, yeah, so that. And then they always do... Oh, hang on a second, I need it. We're gonna do this color next. Oops, we're gonna do this one, which is that little triangle. That's what we're doing next. Um, I've had a couple spots uh, that they, they're not cavities, but they could turn into a cavity. So they've been watching it actually for a little while. Oh, there's Gracie getting a drink of water. She's thirsty. Boy, she's really thirsty. Um, anyway, so they put the fluoride on my teeth, this, this stuff that they kind of paint on after they're all cleaned, and they have to sit on my teeth um, overnight. And the funny thing on this, um, oh my goodness. So... My appointment was later on in the afternoon, and she said, okay, now you can't have anything like crunchy for dinner, no chips or no nuts. I mean, nothing crunchy that would scrape this off your teeth and nothing, no hot liquid. And I, I said, you mean I can't have coffee? I can't have coffee? She said, she said you can have iced coffee. I go, oh, that's not what I like. I like hot coffee. She goes, nope, can't have any until the morning. Oh my gosh, guys. It just showed, it went to show how much I think I'm addicted to coffee. Because I came home, you know, and I made, you know, I made dinner. I made a, a turkey burger because she said that that was totally okay. You know, I made a turkey burger and um, uh, I can't remember what, veggie I had with it. I had something with it. Maybe it was asparagus or broccoli. I, I can't remember. Um, anyway, I said, I, I have to have coffee. So I made a cup of coffee. This is how it just shows. I just can't believe I did this. And I just let it get lukewarm. I hate lukewarm coffee, you know, kind of cold coffee. I like it super hot. And, um, but nope, I drank it lukewarm. Oh my gosh, that just shows how <laughs> way too addicted I am to coffee. So that was my funny thing for for the day. Um, well, it sounds like my neighbor is going to be doing some work in the backyard. Hopefully we're not going to hear them cutting their grass or anything. Hopefully it won't be too... Hopefully it won't be too loud. Okay, so that takes care of that one. And uh, let's see. Oh, what else happened? Okay, I went to the dentist. That was my big thing. I have to make an appointment to the eye doctor. But I think he's like a couple months out. It'll be a little while. Oh, and then I messed up. Speaking of like doctor appointments and stuff, you can tell I'm getting old when I start talking about doctor appointments. Um, I, okay, we're now going to do 
this one. I have to get a, a bone density test because the last one I had a year ago um, was showing some, you know, some bone loss and the start of like osteopenia. So I've been taking, you know, calcium all the time because I don't want to get osteoporosis. And um, so I was supposed to make my appointment. I mean, I went in and I saw my doctor and she goes, yeah, we're gonna get that all set up for you. So I thought they called me. And I was thinking, you know, they haven't, why haven't they called me? You know, I should be getting that appointment for the bone density scan. And I go into my chart and I, and I see the, uh, this little blurb saying, you know, you need to make an appointment, you know, just call, um, either call, oops, I lost one. Hang on. Oh, I lost it again. Oh, I think I might need to get my tweezers. There we go. Uh, you know, just click here and you can set up your appointment. And I'm going, why didn't I see this before? I, I, I really messed up. So I can't get an appointment um, until like, I think it's January. Um, so I'm a little far out, but maybe that'll give me a little more time, my body getting more calcium. And I'm trying, you know, I'm, I'm taking my calcium supplements and um, I'm trying to eat more you know, green leafy vegetables because like spinach has calcium in it. I'm trying to have a little bit more yogurt and, you know, dairy products. I'm trying to work on that. It's hard. Isn't it hard to try to, you know, eat healthy and do what you're supposed to do? It's so much easier just to sit and not do anything. It's hard. So that's going to be coming up, that along with an eye exam. So yeah, all the appointments that we have to do. Um, let's see. What else is going on? Not much. I mean, really, you know, I tell you guys all the time, I lead this boring life, right? You know, I just, you know, I work, work, eat, sleep, diamond paint, repeat. I am working, you know, I've, I've got several projects going, you know, I've got several whips. For you guys that are new, a whip is work in progress. And, um... I've really been trying to concentrate on this one because I'm really hoping that I can get it done before the end of the year. Oops, I lost that one again. I'm, oh gosh, here we go. Uh, yeah, I really, really, really would like to get this done by the end of the year because I think I unboxed it at the first of the year, I think, because it was supposed to be the year of the landscape to get all my beautiful landscapes going and I haven't done haven't done anything that I thought that I was going to do. It seems to me that I get sidetracked a lot. Maybe that's like my squirrel thoughts, right? I get sidetracked with everything. Um, so this painting is so big that I think, I think I mentioned this to you. I can't remember. I had done another whip and chat and I didn't post it because I just didn't like the way it turned out. Um, and that's why I'm doing this one. So I can't remember if I said this in the other one or if I said it in previous ones. So uh, if I am repeating myself, um, my apologies for, the, for that. But I like to diamond paint in these, um, these four by four squares. These, they're Diamond Art Club, you know, release papers. And I like these because they're small enough that I feel accomplishment when I get a section done um, and if all goes well I can get one done in a day and which is good so I've already got uh, I've got six squares completed this is my seventh and um, 
Anyway, I thought, well, how many squares are there? So I kind of laid them out horizontally and vertically and multiplied it, and there's approximately 63 squares. So at best, I can get it done in 63 days, really not working on any other projects. Which, you know, I want to work on, oops, that one's not going in. I want to work on other whips as well. Um, but then again, I really, really, really want to work on this. So that's why the other whips are kind of um, gone by the wayside. This one is having the priority. Um, I'm hoping, because I'm going across this way, I'm going from the lower right all the way to the lower left, two rows. So that's um, eight inches high by, let's see, one, again, eight inches high by 35 inches wide, is the section that I'll have done. And I think it'll be about, let's see, one, two, three, um, almost a third of the painting will be completed when I have that done. But I'm having so much fun with it. It's bringing me such pleasure. Did I get all of these? Nope. I got a couple up here. Let me get these. There we go. Um, yeah, it's giving me a lot of joy to do this painting. And I decided, you know, I decided that if a painting is really giving me a lot of trouble, because you know, sometimes, and you know what kind of painting I'm talk, talking about, either the drills, you're having difficulty with drills, or um they're not lining up right. There's, some, there's something going on with it. You can't see the, um, you can't see the, the drill filled very well, or whatever reason. A lot of times, you know, I fight through it and I get, and I, and I get it done. But I've decided, nope, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to work on the paintings that give me great joy that I'm having fun with. Because for me right now, diamond painting is, I need to have fun. Here's the next color, and it is percent sign. So there might be a couple whips that um, I'm going to put away for a while and not do. Just because I want to be able to have fun. I need to have this be relaxing. And I think that goes with I think that goes with the channel as well. Um I love my channel. I love you guys. I uh, have so much fun with you guys. And I I I really do love doing the videos. But sometimes again with the limited time that I have, it's a choice. Do I do the video and the editing and the uploading um, and not diamond paint? So that, I mean, that truly is um, a lot that happens. Because in the evenings when I film, you know, I film, I edit, I upload, I do all that kind of stuff. And it will leave me very little, if any time at all, to diamond paint. So sometimes it will only be in the very early morning hours that I... Um, can paint. So I may actually be cutting back a little bit on videos and not quite doing them every day uh, just so that I can diamond paint or cross stitch, you know, a little bit more. Oh, did I put that one in upside down? Oh goodness, I think I did. Oh, and I don't know where my, well, I'll fix that later. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I will get that fixed. 
Alrighty, that takes care of that one. And I dropped a couple drills. Always dropping drills. So yeah, I um either that or I'm gonna try either to film early morning maybe. Um although I'm gonna have a little bit of vacation time coming up. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, more of a staycation so that I can diamond paint a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to be doing this color and um, I call that either like a lollipop is usually what I call that one. Yeah, my channel is not you know, a lot of channels run it like um like a, a like a hobby, right? They would just want to share what they're doing, which is awesome, and that's kind of it's kind of more what how I started and um kind of the model that I that I run. Um, it's an extension of my hobby. Um, there are some channels that run a model of that it's a business, and they are going to earn you know, money from it and, um, you know, sell things or, you know, stuff like that monetized and which is great too. That's a good model. Uh, but I, I'm doing it more as a hobby. And I'm sure glad I found this hobby. It's interesting how we've all found this and have all found such pleasure and such joy with this. Talk to people a lot, you know, and more and more, I find people like um, when I'm in Hobby Lobby or Joann's or Walmart or kind of wherever they're selling diamond paintings and, you know, people are looking at them and I, and I talk with them and um, they all are just, just enjoying the craft so much. And then I tell them, go, you need to watch YouTube. There's a lot of great channels out there and you'll learn a lot. You'll meet some neat people. So that is, that's a lot of fun. I love talking to people in the store. That one doesn't want to go in. All right, there we go. Boy, this is coming along, isn't it? I'm getting this patch done pretty good. Let's see if I can move you over just a little bit so I can get that side. Isn't this roof kind of interesting too? Isn't that neat? It really kind of looks like that terracotta and you can you can see the texture in it. Oh, that drill is not down all the way. That is cool. I love how the squares feel. Yeah, this is turning out really, really pretty. I love the colors. I love this purple and the blue and all of this. It is so gorgeous. I'm so happy with it. Now, next month... Oh, I guess I should say, because I've got some orange in here, I do have orange, this does fit into um, Outrageous Orange in my Facebook. Uh, we do a theme in my Facebook, um, if you guys aren't familiar with that. This month is Outrageous Orange. Next month is Forest Animals, or um, a forest theme. You know, you can broaden that up a little bit. Because, you know, what lives in the forest, um, I mean, the typical things that you think of, um, a bear, a fox, wolf, um, you know, maybe a snake, or um, you could go magical and have a fairy, or there's mushrooms, or, um, you know, maybe there's a castle in the forest magical castle. 
So you kind of have to leave it up to your imagination a little bit. Oops. So I want to invite you guys to that. If you haven't already joined for this month, just pop on in to Diamonds and Crafts by Tita. I always tell everybody it's a, you know, this is a private group. Only people that are in the group can see it and can see the posts. And uh, I mean, you can, and it's not just for the theme. Um, you know, you can post questions or, you know, a lot of times people will post, you know, great deals that they may have found, you know, some sales, which are cool. Um, yeah, it's a really, really fun group. So yeah, this month, Outrageous Orange. Next month for November is Forest Animals. And then in December, it is um, good things come in small packages. <laughs> and so uh, there's a story behind that squirrel thought. But what that means is it is any small project. If it's a canvas, it needs to be 30 by 30 or smaller. But it could be off canvas, like uh, maybe you've got coasters or Maybe you've got some window clings, or maybe you've got Christmas cards, or um, keychains, or, you know, I'm trying to think of other things, but all kinds of stuff like that. Um, and I remember when I was younger, you know, I, you know, when you're a kid, you always want the big presents, right? You always want something big. And my mom used to always tell me, but good things come in little packages. You know, like jewelry comes in little packages. So you never know, good things come in little packages. So uh, with, with diamond painting and crafts, good things come in little packages too. I just saw one, there we go. So we have that to look forward to. I'm trying to think if there's any other squirrel thoughts that are going on in my head right now. You never know what that squirrel's going to do. I think I'm a little hungry. I think I need lunch. I'm a little hungry. All right, let me see if I can find the next symbol. Where is it? It's that little, U looks like a U-turn. Where is that little U-turn? Okay, Waldo, where are you? Where is that U-turn? Okay, let me look on the key. Sometimes I can't always find it. I um, don't have these. I have them all in numerical order. There it is. I found it. There it is. U-turn. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. That is beautiful. Yeah, that is just beautiful. It's kind of like an eggplant color. I like that. I'm having fun with squares right now, too. That's my squirrel thought. I haven't done a square in quite some time. Um, and this one is just fabulous. The drills go together um, very easily. They line up easily. The grid is good. Everything is good about this. So don't be afraid to try a square. The drills are a little smaller, you know, so they takes a little bit longer. You do have to be a little bit more precise in how you place them, um, but it's okay. But I love how they snap together. It's a really satisfying sound when they um, snap together. Um, the squares do give you more detail as well. But I would recommend 
Um, if it's in your budget to get a premium company square, um, I'd recommend that. Not saying that all budget friendlies don't have good squares. They're just sometimes harder to find good squares. Um, more often than not, I hear people complaining about the budget friendly squares. Um, so just know that if you get a budget friendly and you are fighting with them, that you have popping drills or gaps, um, that not all squares are equal. Again, just my random squirrel thought there. And don't be scared to multi-place either. I know I talk about that a lot. I know I'm not multi-placing now just because it, 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 whipping chats are harder for me. They really are. Um, they don't come easy. Uh, for me, it's hard to talk. I mean, to think, to talk, to diamond paint, don't mess up the color, you know, it, it's just harder. Um, so I tend for me, it's easier for me to single place. Um, when I am doing a whip and chat, because I tend not to make as many mistakes, although I still make mistakes because you guys catch them, but I'm human. We're all human and that's okay. So we're almost done with this one, my little U-turns. How many minutes have I gone? Oh my gosh, guys, it's 41 minutes. Not talking about much of anything. I hope I've kept you company. Hope you're working on your whip or maybe you're listening to this um, as you're cleaning. I did laundry this morning, changing my sheets, doing some clothes. So there is that. So I think since we're at about 42 minutes, I'm probably going to call it a day uh, just because I'll, I'll have to edit this a little bit um, and get this uploaded because the longer the videos take, the longer the videos, the longer it takes to upload too. Even though I'm supposed to having, you know, the fastest speed that Spectrum offers. But sometimes I don't know if it's that fast and they charge so much. Um, but anyway, uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day or evening, you know, whatever time zone you happen to be in. Um, I am going to go up and uh, visit my family member that is battling breast cancer. She... Um, is halfway through her radiation treatment and is doing extremely well. Just a little fatigue, um, but other than that, she is doing amazing. Uh, so thank you for all your prayers and thoughts and positive vibes and all that sending out her way. Um, she is doing very, very well. Once this uh, radiation is done, then her treatments are over. She's she's done. Um, Totally hooked on diamond painting. Oh my gosh, she just finished a Donna Geislinger painting. And I think she's going to continue on with diamond painting even after um, all of her treatments are done. Uh, she's enjoying it so much. I think especially in winter when she can't go outside and work in her yard because she's got such a beautiful yard. You should see it. Oh my gosh, the flowers and the plants. Um, it's like a garden oasis out there. It's just, it is just stunning. Um, so maybe not so much in, in summertime when she's working on the, her yard, but I bet you in wintertime for certain. Um, anyway, uh, remember, uh, do one thing today that your future self is going to thank you for. I know for me, I'm going to be riding my bike this afternoon, so I'm going to get some miles in on my Norway challenge. A hundred miles. Can you believe that? I don't know how long it's going to take me to do, but I'll keep you updated on it. Um, and remember you're perfect exactly as you are and you don't have to be perfect to be amazing. Um, I hope that I 
uh, kept you company, entertained you maybe a little bit. I hope I encourage you a little bit because I really do want to encourage everybody and help support everybody. Um, and uh, just know that I care about each and every one of you. I appreciate each and every one of you more than you will ever know. Um, and I know my whipping chats probably aren't the very best because um, they are a little bit harder for me. Um, but I still enjoy them. And I always forget about a whole bunch of stuff that I should have told you about when I get all done. So I'm sure that I have forgot stuff and you'll have to forgive me and I will try to be doing more whip and chats um, as I as I go along and um, we'll see how much longer it's gonna take me to get this done. So it looks like, hang on, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine squares. So that's nine days minimum that I would need to do. Could I push myself and get the rest of it done by um, next weekend? I don't know. Maybe I will give it a try. Uh, I know coming up is a lot more confetti. It is, um, hang on just a second. Do I have that here? Oh, I was gonna show you the picture. Oh yeah, hold on one second. Squirrel thought, squirrel thought, here we go. Okay, there is the whole painting. So I am over in this area here. I've got this part of the house done here. Um, this will be coming up, but I'm down kind of through here. So can I get it all the way done by the end of the weekend? Or end of next week? I am not certain. Um, but I'm going to give it a try. And then I don't know if I'm going to continue on moving this way or if I'm going to flip it over and go up. I haven't decided yet. Or actually, I could flip it upside down and go that way. I don't know. I guess it's going to be whatever suits my fancy on this. We'll see. But isn't that beautiful? It is just so gorgeous, and I'm really, really, really hoping one day I'm going to go up and visit it. Because uh, I would love to see that in person and actually take a picture and show it to you guys. Oregon is definitely beautiful. All right, guys. Um, I know I'm jibber jabbering more and more and more. Uh, again, I hope you had, uh, hope you have a great day and uh, take care and I will see you on the next one. Bye everybody.